The HSBC BWF World Tour 2023 season powers on around the globe and for this 19th event of the tour, we're here in wonderful Sydney, Australia for the Australian Open 2023. Badminton's biggest and best players in action here at Key Centre, the State Sports Centre, part of the Sydney Olympic Park. It's a wonderful arena and it's already seen some action. Two days, in fact, this is day three that uh, you're joining us for. A very warm welcome to you wherever you are watching from around the world. That's what it's all about, the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals Trophy. Of course, that will be given out at the end of the year at the World Tour Finals. But to get there, of course, it's all about consistency, reliability, picking up ranking points, and of course, as many big results as you can in the 31 tournaments across the season. This is the order of play for court one here on day three. We're going to start off with the women's singles. Singapore and Yao Jia Min with a good start to the week so far, taking on Yvonne Lee. That will be followed by the men's doubles. The number four seed, Ong Yu Sin and Chiu Yi Yi, taking on the winners from last week's Japan Open, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin in good form there. Women's singles will follow that. A qualifier, Wang Qingping from Chinese Taipei, taking on the number two seed, former world number one, Ratchanok Intanon. Men's singles will follow that. Ng Zi Yong with a very good run recently in recent tournaments, taking on Jonathan Christie, very reliable performer, the number seven seed. Mixed doubles will follow that. Praveen Jordan and Malati Deva Octavianti taking on Chan Tang Chun Man and Xi Ying Sweat. And then it's back to singles. Zhao Junpeng from China taking on Chou Tian Chen, the number five seed from Chinese Taipei. Women's doubles will follow that. The Aimsart sisters, Benyapa and Nuntakan, taking on the Indonesian number seven seeds, Apriana Rahayu, Siti Fadia, Sylvia, Robert Hanti. And then to close out the action, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, number one seed, taking on Kieran George, who is a qualifier that's come through. So look at the women's singles draw. A little bit different from uh, the draws of recent times, of course, with a lot of players that have withdrawn from this in light of the World Championships happening in Denmark in two weeks. But still, Aya Ahori, uh, Yo Ji Min and Kim Ga Eun all playing very well. Good chance. All Korean um, round two at the bottom. Kim Ga Eun against Sim Yu Jin. So Korean quarterfinalist guaranteed. And also the same up top, of course, for Chinese Taipei, Liang Ting Yu and Pai Yu Po. Uh, will have guaranteed Chinese Taipei quarterfinal spot. So an interesting quarterfinal draw for sure. No answer, Young, the newly crowned world number one. Of course, she's withdrawn from this, the defending champion uh, in light, as I said, of the world championships in Denmark. And of course, no Akane Yamaguchi either, who is now moved down to world number two. So the players are about ready to enter the arena. Players announced and walking out into the arena. Should be an evenly balanced match. The world number 22, Yao Jiamin, taking on the world number 21, Yvonne Lee. Yao Jiamin has already ousted the number three seed. Bumbui Cho Chuang from Thailand and ready for the coin toss. It is red. It is red. Head to head, you know, leading four. I think. She's definitely been in good form. Jamin. Very versatile player, Yo know, Jamin. Double bronze medalist at the Commonwealth Games last year, women's singles and mixed. 24 years old, born in Singapore. And there's that ranking 22, has been as high as 16. And that was back in 2021. As I said, started off the year pretty well. She was ousted in the first round of the India and Indonesian Open by Pornpawi Chochawang. And she managed to 
get some revenge this time round this week. So looking to continue her quest against Yvonne Lee. Has had quarterfinal uh, appearances. That's uh, the confirmation of that. Straight games as well in 32 minutes. It was a wonderful performance from her. Slightly different conditions, of course, in terms of the tour down here in Australia. A little bit bracing, shall we say. Colder for the players. And also a little less humidity as well. So fast conditions. And that can always make such a difference. But uh, here's her opponent, Yvonne Lee, 25 years old, born in Hamburg. And playing at her highest ranking. Just a third at the Orléans Masters for Yvonne Lee. She has been fighting hard all year. She's hopefully looking to up that. I said it's a very good opportunity this week with uh, some of the top players opting to withdraw. It's the only, it's the last tour event before the World Championship. So really they get three weeks of training or even rest and relaxation. It's up to them. Some of the players, of course, have performed really well that was her first round one result kai chi in 20 minutes and that's pretty comprehensive stuff 21 8 21 6. so looking for her second quarter final she can get through this one as for yao jimin while well, she was quarter finalist at the thai open and the orleans masters and also that's our umpire jiten bart joined by our service judge Chiaki Miyazaki. Ready to play. As I was saying, Jamin also, in addition to those two quarterfinal appearances at the Thai Open and Audio Masters, was third in Spain and also first at the Polish Open, which she won. So, really, this is her fifth quarterfinal. If you take all of those into account and ready to get underway here. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yvonne Lee, Germany. And on my left, Yao Jiamin, Singapore. Yvonne Lee to serve, level, play. Immediate snap back power from Jamin. One that first point. Love. Oh, she was tracking that all the way, but service over. Just inched One. right. All. Winner from Yvonne Lee. Set that up nicely. Two, one. Service over. Two, all. Oh, both ladies looking for back court winners. Over. Three, two. Jamin just a little bit wide, left and right so far. Good clear over. area to aim Three, at. All. Charmin has played and won against some big names in her career, including the great Anse Young, in fact, in 2019. Of course, that was, I suppose, before Anse Young had really fired into life. Almost impossible to beat now. Service over. The South Korean. Four, three. In three games at the Hyderabad Open. Chamin came through. Also, Han Yu was another um, 
by a ranked opponent back in 2019, 2018, if you want, so. So Jamin beginning to find some rhythm and consistency. As you can see in the background, the other courts here, uh, key center beginning to come into life. Lots of matches here. Day three, round of 16. And as they get through these points, as I did say, it's a golden opportunity for some of these players to stack up some ranking points with uh, some of the big names opting to withdraw or omit this 19th event. Purely from, I said, some great performances that they've put in already. Victor Axelsson came back from injury. And he immediately went for two straight wins. That was a nice touch from Jamin. Read that play well. Caught Yvonne flat-footed there in mid-court. about the unforced error count and well, they both started with a few. Xiaomin is beginning to tighten up her game. On me still making a couple of errors. Just gonna watch that. There's another one. There's a length. And a two-point lead and a good chance here for now Xiaomin to build that even further. Nine, five. So pulling away, the winner of this is going to play one of the Koreans, Sim Yu Jin, Kim Ga Eun. This part of the draw in the quarterfinals. So Kim Ga Eun has been great form recently. So a tough match Ten, ahead. Five. Like that driftier part of the court is that top right hand side. So 11 5 at the mid game interval. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. German back on court. First, as the players get ready for the second phase of game one. Good lead set up by the Singaporean. 11, five, play. Again, just trying that Service lift over. to the back corner. Six, 11. Drive to mid court. 12, six. That's one good thing about Yao Jemin. She tracks back well, moves around the court easily. Good footwork, 13, mobility. Six. Oh. 
course, right now, Service this seven, probably the only spark for Singapore in the singles department with the, well, I have to say, upset. Lo Kan Yu, the former world champion, asked in the first round yesterday. Still working on various Eight, parts of this game, 13. but he has had some good results recently, so I'm sure he's not going to think of it as too much of a problem as he continues to build this game. But Yao Jiamin definitely flying the Singaporean flag in the singles Seven, category 14, here in Australia. Eight. And doing well in this first game, building on that lead 14 8. Power coming in. 15 8. Pick up off the net. Absolutely in full control right now. Jam in. Still having trouble with those backcourt lengths. If anything, a forced error. That was some really good play from Jamin, just soaking up all the attacks and not really giving any chance for Von Lee to find that attacking angle. Again, just picked that out the air, got rounded really well. So in total control here, 19-8. On serve. Twenty game points. It's Twelve game points. A very quick, effective start from the Singaporean. It was close. Holtz. Ten, play from 20. Lee. Set it up on the right. Came in with a cross on the left. Forced the fault off the racket. A couple of errors, making the scoreline a little bit more respectable in this first game. Good chance for Lee. Okay. That backhand clear was always a bit ambitious. So, 21-11. Jimin looking good so far.
Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So back on court for game two. Everything to play for, for Yvonne Lee. She wants to continue a charge here in Sydney. Yao Jiamin, she's got to watch out for Second that game. top right corner. Level play. Seems to be where the drift is centered. As marginal as it is in this over. balanced One arena. Love. It's a great net play from Jiamin. Aims for the corner, gets it. Service over, one all. That was great. Was a shot just before that also that was top class. And there it is, a vicious dip just over the net. Oh, she was just really working the angles. Charmin. in. Two, one. First ever Seven Singaporean to, all. to make world junior number one. It's part of her illustrious career so far. Oh, just ruling the midcourt right now. It's great power from Lee. Drop Service shot. Over. Three, two. It's working really well for him. It's not the biggest of players. Five foot five. Thank you. Definitely with the height advantage, but right now she's managed to nullify that effect by just keeping Yvonne Lee moving. Not really giving her anything to feed off. That was well defended. Body defense from Yvonne Lee. Back in the play again, but there's that drop again. Service over, 5-3. Just being caught at the back right now, Yvonne Lee. Just wide, good idea. 6-3. So Three. difficult with that body defense. Shuttles just having to be picked up just off the right and left shoulder, especially. Also around the hip area. Good place to harvest points if you're attacking. Good rally. Yvonne so, Dante first challenge coming for the day. Out. I think she'll be lucky. It looked clearly out. And it is. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Eight, three. So that lead up to five, and again, it's pressure on the German. Seven, 
Service over. Four, eight. Oh, I think that might be the widest miss that we've seen from Charmin. She's been pretty close. So she's been tightening up that game as well. Less unforced error since probably midway through Service the first over. half. Nine, game one. Four. That's what they say it's all about. Shot consistency and quality consistency. So getting it over and in for one. And type and the angles that you work with for quality. Keep those two up. It's a good chance. You're going to be racking up the points. It's out. 10-4. 10-4. Four. On the brink of the second mid-game interval. Thank you. Picked up nicely by Jarmin. Bolts, 11-4. Well, as she moves in with a very comfortable lead, 11-4. I think that last point just proved it. She's not facing any significant problems right now. And looking very good for a spot in the quarterfinals at this point. Court one twenty seconds, court one twenty seconds. Oh, a wonderful shot from Jamin. Just stroked that into left side of front court. Really read that play well. She was already playing some great angles and keeping Yvonne Lee moving. But just to drop that in at front court, that was masterful. It's all about the front mid court four. games. She's had a cross court winners. A lot of drives to the back line, but nothing compared to this relentless attack in mid court. Got a feel for Yvonne Lee. She's having to really dig deep at the front court. Not quite making it. So, 14 4. And Yao Chia Min just running away with this. Frustration showing on Yvonne Lee's face, as you can imagine. It's a long way back from here. Service over. 5-16. But a glimmer of hope and a chance. Build back a little from this serve. Too ambitious. Service over Back 17 5. That was good. This was a little bit too loose. And it is 
a very tough discipline women's singles these days not just up at the very top between the big four and Se Young, Kai Yamaguchi, Tai Tzu Ying, and Chen Yufei. Now this, of course, the battle between the world number 21, Jiao Min, and world number 22, Yvonne Lee. And as you can see, Jiao Min has really got her act together this week. Backhand's been letting it down. So, 15 match points, and the way this match has been going, I don't think she's going to need too many. It's out. Game. I guess it's only right that it's an unforced error that should finish this one. Yao, Yao Jiamin makes it to her fifth quarterfinal of the year with a comprehensive performance. Quick. Effective, very versatile. Match won by Yeo Jiamin, 21-11, she needed to 21, do. 5. So I said she's on to face, that's confirmation of it. 24 minutes, 21-11, 21-5. She's got a spot in the quarterfinals. So looking at the order of play here on court one, very quick and effective 24-minute dismissal of Yvonne Lee by Yao Jiamin to kick it off. Up